What's up, guys? So, Surprise. I watched back our previous sign-off in 0.25 speed, and there was something a little bit fishy, and I'm not saying, oh, no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not insinuating anything, but there may have been a little bit of a debate, because we're back, and we have an interview with the one and the only Bucky Bear. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bucky. <laughs> All right, Howdy, so... Guys. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Bucky is the manager for Tap Come Home. Uh, that was their name in the Breakable Barriers tournament. But most of you should know them as Indignation, the team that just won the practice OD season. So, Bucky, tell us a little bit about Indignation. What else have you guys done? Where do you come from? What's what, what's your story? Um, With this current core roster, Indignation has been together a little over two months, I would say. And uh, like you already mentioned, we are the Europe practice open division champion, but we are also third in, uh, I think it's the 38th Sultak Cup. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, together we have done like great things and Indignation is a team with the greatest attitude and uh, a place to just learn from our mistake, a very healthy environment to discuss and develop. I'm very, very happy working with them right now. So yeah. Somehow I'm in NA and they're in Europe. <laughs> You're making it work. <laughs> We're making it work somehow. <laughs> That's pretty admirable. Time zones can be an issue. How do you make that work? Um, I actually like working for an Europe team just because I believe that we have to do the important thing first <laughs> during the day. So it's actually really early for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah okay. I, I guess it's a bit more like a nine to five than, uh, than the usual managerial job, which may be more like a, like a five to eleven kind of thing. It is. Mm -hmm. It really is. So in the evening, I get time to uh, do whatever I want, and if I want to, I have time to update their like scrum logs, everything and stuff like that. So it's great. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, are you studying? How do you have time in the morning for this kind of stuff? Oh dear, we're going to that direction. No, uh, I run my own company. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Damn. All right. And that entrepreneurial making... spirit. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's bringing <laughs> nice. that into the indignation. Can I drive out on the path to pro, making some money moves, just how it be sometimes. And I'd like to ask about the plans, if you have any, for 2020. Are you guys planning to compete in the new structure for Path to Pro? Yeah, definitely. We're actually very excited to uh, compete in it, and uh, together with my with our staff team, like the owner uh, Jam, with Finn, with Kumba, we're talking about developing. A, how do how do I put it? How do I put it without leaking this? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> leaks. Like, Give us leaks. Secret indignation projects are yeah. in the pipeline. <laughs> Yeah, and like we're definitely working on our branding developments and like very exciting new things coming for us for sure. Hell yeah, that's good to hear. And tell me, so you came from last week, uh, the Breakable Barriers. How did that go for you guys? Um, that was a little bit um, testing the water for us. It helped us mm -hmm. tremendously knowing what we're strong and what we're weak at. Um, especially with the current matter that is just so up in the air and mm -hmm. it helped us a lot to develop new comps and strats like with how you see Alex was just taking the off angle and all these things we we're like hey we can definitely do that and it was like something <laughs> very fun it I, I just love staying after scrum with them and talking about all these things yeah the, 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 the first breakable like barrier were... sorry go ahead Harry <laughs> it, it definitely seemed like you guys were sort of co-opting the strategy of Farrow and Tracer, which we saw a huge amount of from Raspberry Racers in their surprisingly dominant run up until they ran up against British Hurricane. In your first week, uh, yeah. what kind of comps were you guys bringing out, or was it a little bit more similar to more like a mirror match against Raspberry Racers, or did you like go up against Raspberry Racers like, oh, that, that's pretty good, and we have people who are really good at these heroes, so we're going to practice this this week and then just come out with it in the next week and make that same run? I'm not gonna lie, Raspberry actually caught us by surprise a little bit. Uh, we were having a very standard our style of comp. I, re I believe we were running May Hanzo a lot last week, and mm -hmm. uh, we were just thinking that that's the way to go. Um, and yeah, they took us by surprise, so we are definitely 
stay together and like what went wrong. And this week we do, we might have stole their comp a little bit. <laughs> well, you, you, you can't really steal a meta. You you just adopt yeah. it. Exactly, and then play it better. You, exactly. you may have the opportunity to go up against them. I'm not sure exactly. which side of a bracket we're on. Uh, I'm well, not sure. uh, the first breakable barriers. That was your first like uh, established tournament without tap. If that, if I'm not wrong. So, yes. and obviously you guys have called yourselves Tap Come Home. So tell us a little <laughs> bit about that. We did highlight it slightly on the broadcast, but give us a little bit of a rundown of what that, what happened there. What do you mean by what happened there? We well, just, the, what? no, like the, the name of the team and like, it's clearly a joke. So how did that <laughs> come to be? You know, what was the, the decision making process? Well, um, I'm just going to say we're very confident with the upcoming uh, matches and uh with this name we're basically saying that watch out ua because winners takes tap oh <laughs> so, so what you're telling me back. is that break breakable <laughs> barriers is more than a tier 3 open division tournament it's a custody battle oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the grudge match lawyer up <laughs> well i mean if you, back guys, to Europe. <laughs> if you guys beat uprising academy you're still gonna want him Mm -hmm. Yes, that means we're the better team. Fair enough, but it means that you are the better team. Wouldn't that mean that you already have the best? We'll put him as a sub. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. So, so it, it like, changes from tap come home to tap go bench. <laughs> tap come home and sit down in the corner and think about what you've done. <laughs> uh, go hide in your little room and then we'll talk about it later. <laughs> So you're feeling confident with your upcoming games, yeah? Yes, definitely. We're very excited to play um, UA and take tap back. Hell yeah. And the money, of course. <clears throat> that was that too. <laughs> money? I've, I've never oh, heard yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Money in tier three? <laughs> just, just get some pocket money, pay for some Christmas presents. You know what it is. Just get a little bit of holiday festivity. <laughs> oh my god. If we get all this money, um, we're putting together just a... A party, the indignation oh, party. Yeah. <laughs> Flying everyone together, that is gonna be great. Just just buy a plane ticket for Tap to come home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing Tap home with the money from uh, Breakable Barriers. I was hoping that UA is gonna pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> yeah. to, to be fair, I'm pretty sure they've got to, they've got to play, pay for any flights home for people they bring out there. <laughs> Robin, so you dropped. Good luck getting home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, were there any more questions from you, Harry? Or uh, I, I'm I'm good. But we're just out here having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of veered off topic and just uh, started making the yokes. Uh, yeah. But we're looking forward to your upcoming matches. Obviously, this means that you didn't get second rounded this time, and we are going to see you move on up the bracket and hopefully see you do a little bit better than you did before. As we did mention, you guys did win the practice OD, and you are a strong contender for this competition. Obviously, just a little stroke of bad luck there coming up against Raspberry Racers in the second round in the, the last tournament. But hopefully, we'll see you guys do a little bit better, and we're looking forward to seeing you in Open Division. Everybody yeah. else? gonna be back very shortly well, i say very shortly please don't quote me on this one <laughs> no, no, no quotes no quotes yeah. could be longer than anticipated but we're gonna take a break and we'll be back with some more breakable barriers action for you so uh go get a drink probably got enough time for that but don't stay Hydro away hammies. hell yeah don't stay away though we are gonna be back and uh, it's gonna be pretty spicy so see you in a bit <laughs> 